Is this still raining out? Good. We have a perfect song for that. This song means a lot to me. It's only fitting that you sing along to it in this climate. I won't talk about the weather, not with you, we're not together. The, the phrase, the weather, came from a moment where I was talking to an ex of mine. I just noticed that the conversation was about things like the weather, things that were such safe ground and safe territory. It just triggered something for me that was so sad. Since you moved there, what are we to each other now? What were we to each other before? Will I ever get over it? I will get over it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. This sort of swirling cloud of thoughts that just accompanies you for a really long time, even if you experience happiness and you move on. About the weather, yeah. I've written bits of this song, including the final lyric, I know I'll always be in love with you. But I was struggling as to whether that was like really what I wanted to say. So I brought the song to Clyde and he came up with the lyric, a part of me will always be in love with you. And that just felt so much more real and nuanced and it felt much more like the song. A part of me will always be in love with you. I didn't I know each other so well that even the songs that people think are so personal to one of us were actually both so integral in telling that story. Yeah, this is based on an experience that I had, but Clyde is bringing things from his own life to be able to tell that story with me. It kind of became everyone's story, and that's what's so cool about songwriting. I hope that the song doesn't live in an exact emotional box. It's about the feeling of, of having confusion. You've experienced a breakup, it's over, and there's not hostility, there's not anger, there's just what remains and how do you kind of deal with that. It's like a song with no specific chorus and no specific post-chorus and no specific pre-chorus. It's got almost like a folk song kind of energy in that it's just, it really feels like you're just listening to someone tell a story or their train of thought. We, we ended up opting for a pretty, pretty restrained vocal, but with some pops of like flourishes. If you know, we wanted to have the warmth of the live feeling without it being like a live recording. So I'm really happy we did that because I think that it's really important in conveying the emotion of the song. That it wasn't like me sobbing the whole time, that would suck. And it wasn't me belting the whole time because that would suck also. So somewhere in the middle of this sort of like emotional gray area, which again was always what the song was about. Even if you don't regret the breakup, I think you can still feel just so much carried with you for a long period of time and reflection because it's dating people is weird. Like you're so close and then you're just like supposed to not be so close. <laughs> so I think uh, that leaves people with a lot to, to unpack and you know, that song is, is a bit of the unraveling of of that cloud that's been sort of hanging over, or was hanging over me at that time. I won't talk about the weather, not with you, we're not together. I actually am very affected by how the audience reacts to that song. Like, I think I can see every single night people get really emotional during that song. And that I find really moving in just the idea of, like, how common all of our experiences are. This song was written many years after the relationship had ended. 
And in fact, I was in a new relationship at the time with someone who was so supportive of me writing about this like universal experience. And I think that that passage of time is so helpful as a writer to be able to reflect, but also as like a performer to feel comfortable getting on stage singing the song every night. When people say being authentic is the most important thing as an artist, I would just define being authentic as not necessarily telling a story that's 100% factual. It's really just about mining your own brain and experiences and thoughts and feelings or imagined experiences even that feel like they are true to who you are or what you believe in. Good things can end too. I like that the song feels sad at the same time that it feels like a celebration or recognition of a good thing. I think you can't really have one without the other if you're reflecting on a good relationship. No, I won't talk about the weather. No, I won't talk about the weather. I won't talk. About the weather, who I won't talk Tell. about the weather. No, I won't talk about the weather. Not with you and not together. But I wonder Tell. if we're ever really through. Cause if we're talking Tell. about weather, you and I should be together. Well, I know I'll always be in love with you. Take it, Joy. time bomb of a COVID uh, outbreak. The show's in Boston next week and the Terminal 5 show, our biggest show that we've ever played, hang in the balance of how we choose to approach our response to this. <laughs> <laughs>